So I wanted to take you through um, a cold card, which is my favorite um, hardware wallet at the moment. Um, there's this preconceived idea that uh, a cold card is for advanced level Bitcoiners. And whilst in some respects, yes, um, but if you have a MyNode, it becomes a little bit easier. And I'll show you how it's done. The first thing that I want to show you is how to import your cold card into Electrum. The second thing is to create, sign and broadcast a transaction. And the third thing is to upgrade your device's firmware or your cold card's firmware. And we're going to do this all with the air gapped method, um, meaning that you never have to connect your cold card into your computer that is an internet connected device via a USB cable. And so the way that we would do that is we would give the cold card power through either a power bank, which is what I have here, or we can use a wall charger, um, which we can plug directly into uh, the wall. So that is uh, the two methods of powering your, your cold card. And the way that we're going to essentially uh, keep it air gapped is by using a micro SD card. And we're going to ferry uh, information to and from the cold card into our computers using the micro SD card. So to get started, let's do the first thing, which is to initialize the cold card. So once that has been completed and you're happy with the initialization process, um, then we can move on to the, the next part, which is importing your cold card in through uh, to your MyNode uh, enabled or your MyNode enabled um, Electrum wallet. So the way that we would do that is we power on our cold card using the power bank or some form of charger. So we'll just plug that in and it'll ask us for our pin. So we will insert that. So once we've input our pin, what we can do is go ahead and put the micro SD card into the back of the cold card like so. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so that's now secure and snug in the back of the cold card. So from the menu, I'm going to go into the advanced section and then I'm going to go into uh, micro SD card. Uh, and then I'm going to go export wallet and then I'm going to do Electrum wallet. And then it says this saves a skeleton Electrum wallet file onto the micro SD card. You can then open that file in Electrum without ever connecting this cold card to a computer. Choose an address type for the next wallet on the screen, one to enter a non-zero account number. So I'm going to just press enter and OK. Uh, and then it'll ask me which address type I want. So I'm going to choose native SegWit and it will generate a file onto the micro SD card. So it says here Electrum wallet file written new wallet dot JSON. Excellent. So now what I'm going to do is take the micro SD card out and I am going to place that into a micro SD card reader and plug this into my computer. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is fire up Electrum wallet. And I'm going to make sure that this is connected through to my MyNode, which is uh, here, which we can see it's connected to one node and that server, all the other servers are blanked out. So we're happy with this being connected to one Electrum server, which is hosted um, by me on my own computer or on my own MyNode. Okay. We'll go file open and we'll go to that micro SD card and click new wallet.json. So I'm going to click on that and it will say next, you can name it whatever you want, um, but I'm just going to go new wallet. Okay. And it'll say here, please insert your cold card, verify the cable is connected and that no other application is using it. Try to connect again. And what you want is no, because you never want to connect your cold card into a internet connected device. So 
we'll say no here. Okay. And you'll see here that I already have some funds in here. There's, you know, $5 or so. It's a very, very small amount. And so now we have successfully imported our micro, uh, sorry, our wallet from cold card, from the cold card device into Electrum. Okay. So that pretty much is how you would um, set up your or import your cold, uh, cold card into Electrum wallet. Now let's do a transaction. So what I want to do here is I'm going to... Um, make a transaction. So I'm going to send to myself. So I'm going to generate a new address here and I'm going to copy that address and send it to myself. I'm going to make it um, test one, two, three as the description. I'm going to max it out and I'm going to give a one sat per byte um, transaction fee. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is preview that. Okay, so now it's going to give us a transaction ID. It's going to uh, look at our description and it'll show here that our status is unsigned. Okay, and what we want to do is these two inputs of my, um, of my funds are going to then be transferred into this output here. Okay, so what we'll do is we will save PSBT and we're going to save it onto the micro SD card. And now you can name it whatever you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. So um, you can then just save that. Uh, so newwallet.json and then today's date and time. So that will go and save onto the micro SD card. Okay, so that transaction exported successfully. We're gonna keep this window open because we're going to verify um, that this is exactly what we want out of and we're going to verify this stuff on our actual cold card itself so i'm going to take the um the micro sd card out uh, i'm going to put the micro sd card into the back of the cold card again like so and i'm going to go to the main menu and it will say ready to sign so i'm going to hit that button there and it's reading and it says here, okay to send. So I'm looking at the amount there. So that's 49681. That's what I want to send. And I want to send it to the address ending in Q06. Uh, and that is correct. That is what I want to do. And the network fee is 178 sats, which is correct. And it says, press okay to approve and sign transaction X to abort. So I'm happy with the details there. What's happening on my cold card is exactly what's happening on my screen as well so I'm okay with that it'll say signing and then it'll say PSBT has been um, and exported through to uh, the, the micro SD card so we're going to take the micro SD card out and we're going to plug this back into our computer okay so we don't need any of this information so we can close that out and the way now that we would um, import this file in is go to tools, load transaction from file. And you'll see here that we've got new wallet JSON slash final dot TXN. So we'll copy that open. We'll open that. And it has now got that same transaction ID, but the status is now signed. And you'll see that the sign button is now uh, blanked out and we can now broadcast this transaction once I hit broadcast that will go through uh, and broadcast that transaction I'm not going to do that because I don't want to um, but once that's done that will be broadcasted through to your own node and your node will then broadcast that transaction so that is essentially how you would uh, create sign and broadcast a transaction without ever having to connect your cold card directly into an internet connected device. That is called the air gapped method. Now, the next thing that you'll probably want to do is upgrade your firmware when a firmware uh, release comes out. So the way that we would do that is open up um, your browser and just go to coldcardwallet.com. We'll go to the docs and we'll scroll down and say here, uh, upgrade to the latest firmware. So we'll click on that. 
and then we'll download this um, DFU file. Okay, we're going to save this file, and we're going to save it into the uh, micro SD card. Okay, so we'll save that like so. It might be worthwhile having a read of some of the notes that are here um, and what that what the enhancements are. Okay. Um, now, once you're happy with that, we can then load this onto our cold card. So we're going to take our micro SD card out and insert this into the back of um, the cold card. Okay, like so. And then we're going to go into again uh, advanced and then it'll say upgrade so we'll click that button and we'll say from micro SD card so it says here pick firmware image to use um, .dfu there is only one file to pick from so that has picked it uh, and so we're going to go enter and it will say loading and basically it will just run through and upgrade your firmware to the latest version. So that pretty much completes um, how we would import our elect uh, or our cold card in through to Electrum. We've signed or created, signed and broadcasted a transaction, and we have upgraded our firmware all without having to plug this device into an internet connected computer. If you are interested in uh, purchasing a cold card, here is the link to it. Um, you can easily buy one. You might want to wish uh, to use the code Levera, uh, and that will get you a bit of a discount. So, um, if you're thinking about purchasing a cold card, uh, do so. It's a really good product, um, and I really enjoy using it. So, take that for what you will.